Today we're going to look at DXF conversion using the PMX 4EX essay. After installing the Performax installer, click on the Start menu, All Programs, Arcus Technology, Formax Series, PMX 4EX essay, and click on the executable here. At this point, you want to make sure that your Performax controller is powered up and also connected to your PC using a filtered USB cable. We'll click on the USB icon here, select the device, and click OK. At this point, you'll see three different program modes. For this example, we want to look at DXF Converter. Here you'll see two screens on the left and on the right. On the left side, this is the DXF viewing screen. On the right side is the programming screen. The first thing that we want to do is load the DXF. So we'll click Load DXF here. Here we'll select the DXF that we would like to convert. We'll first look at Box1.DXF. You'll see that the DXF is now shown in the DXF view screen. Now we can set a few different parameters. Let's click on Parameter Setup. The first parameter to look at are dimensions. It says length 1, millimeters, 1,000 pulses. What this means is that during conversion of the DXF to the Arcus motion code, 1 millimeter on the DXF will equate to 1,000 stepper motor pulses. This factor can be changed and modified based on the step resolution of the motor, the micro-stepping resolution, and also the lead screw pitch of the linear actuator. The next is the max stroke length. Currently it says 10 millimeters. What this means is that the maximum X value shown in this window is 10 millimeters, and also the maximum Y value is set to 10 millimeters. For example, if we would like to set it to 20, we'll notice that the image will be zoomed out and the max X and Y will become 20 millimeters. We'll close that. You'll see the now image is now zoomed out and the maximum X is 20 and the maximum Y is 20. A few other parameters to look at are speed. This determines the high speed, low speed, and acceleration parameters for the motion. And also the pen up down routines. What the pen up routine does is a routine that is automatically called by the converter at the end of each move. And the pen down routine is called at the beginning of each move. Typically, uh, these routines are used to trigger I.O. or to move a Z-axis up and down. We'll close this, and now we're ready to convert. So we can click on the Convert button here. At this point, the DXF file has now been converted to the Arcus Motion Code here. You'll notice that there are four uh, line commands here, in linear interpolated lines, that refer to these four movements here, and also a single arc command that refers to this movement here. You'll also see the sub 1 and sub 2 pen up and pen down routines, and these are called uh, within the code. It's also commented here, so you can see uh, when they are called. At this point we can do a compile, which will compile this motion code to our assembly language and then now download to download the code to our product. Click OK and now you can click Run. At this point you'll see the XY cursor here that will show the motion path of the XY axis of the PMX 4EX essay. Now this code can be modified. For example, if you want to change the speed to 8000 you can directly modify it here, compile, and download. Now run. You notice that the speed, max speed, is now 8,000. Another common thing that customers would like to do is run this sequence in a loop. For example, if you say while wow, 1 equals 1, here and insert an end while here. What this effectively does is it 
executes this code in an infinite loop. So let's compile this, download, and run. Now instead of running one time, it will start running this sequence continuously. So see that's the first run, and now the second run. And this will keep on going forever until you stop the program. Okay, let's stop that and run a different DXF. So let's click load DXF again, and we want to look at a more complex DXF file. So look at flower1.dxf. Now we'll see the flower uh, picture come up here. Let's zoom in so we can say parameter setup and let's change max stroke length to 10. You'll see it's a, a nicely viewed screen now. Let's also look here and let's say we want to change the default speed to 10,000. So we can set that there. Close that and let's do a conversion. Now you'll notice this code is a little bit longer and has uh, some different moves in there. Just notice some linear interpolation moves. And uh, we also have the circle move here. And you'll actually find three of them. Those refer to these circles here. One, two, and three. And there also are some arc moves. One of them can be found here that refer to these petals and also these leaf shapes here. Let's go ahead and compile this program, download, and run. And notice you can also see the cursor move as so you can track the motion profile of the XY axis of the 4EX essay. Now it's drawing some arc moves. And now we're complete. So there you go. That's a quick demonstration of the DXF conversion of the 4EX essay.